So uh, my name is Martin Mackay, uh, I'm the CTO of Textile Systems and uh, we're an assistive technology company, we develop software for kids who have reading and writing difficulties. And uh, today what I want to talk about is our new product which is called Fluency Tutor and it's an online product, it's designed to uh, develop and assess and maintain a running record for um, students uh, to help them develop oral reading fluency. So uh, the reason why we decided to get into the uh, oral reading fluency space is that uh, people, our teachers, were using our uh, desktop product, Read and Write Gold, for something that it hadn't been intended to be used for. Uh, Read and Write Gold is designed for kids who are struggling with reading, and teachers were using it to uh, actually teach reading, so they were, they were using it for reading instruction. And uh, we thought that we could use the features that they were using in a new product and really focus on doing that one thing very well, so uh, really focusing on delivering instruction in oral reading fluency. And uh, it's a pretty simple thing, it's entirely web based so uh, the IT guys don't have to install anything. And uh, it's got two areas, it's got a student area and a teacher area. And uh, the students can log in and do one of four things, they can either practice their reading and they can take a reading assessment, they can review uh, previous reading assessments and listen to their reading and uh, the last thing they can do is see a little chart, a little progress bar. Uh, it shows their, their reading speed increasing over time. And uh, So first of all, in the practice my reading area, uh, lots of research shows that the, the best thing that you can do to help a kid learn to read is to deliver supported, repeated, guided reading. So what we do is we display a reading passage on screen and uh, we read it aloud. And as it's being read aloud, we deliver synchronized highlighting so that kids can see the word and hear the word being spoken at the same time. If they have trouble decoding a word and they don't understand what it means, we've got two other little tools in there. There's a, a talking dictionary, so if they don't understand the meaning of a word, they can play the meaning. And there's also a translator, so if Spanish is their first language and they're trying to learn to read in English, uh, they can use a little Spanish translator to read that out loud. So that gives them the guided, supported, repeated reading uh, functionality, and it's been proven to help reading. And also in that practice area, there's a little record tab and they can press that button and they can try reading it themselves so they can they can read the passage and listen to their own voice back. Kids really love that, it's a motivational thing for them to do and uh, you know it's uh, if you give them a book they don't get excited, if you give them a website to play on where they can hear their own voice coming back out of the computer they love it and uh, they do it more and more. So that's that's the kind of the essence of that area and then for uh, the reading assessment it's a little bit simpler they just go in select a reading passage and there's just a kind of start button and a stop button. They don't get any support tools and it's really there to benchmark their reading speed. So what we're looking for at the end of that is a, a reading speed in words per minute or in fact what we do is we measure words correct per minute which is the you know the, the number of words spoken minus the number of incorrect words in, uh, spoken in a minute. And then uh, one of the other things that we do is uh, they can view the passages that they've been measured on and once they've been scored uh, the student gets them back again and they can listen to their own reading but they can see words where they've um, you know they've made a mispronunciation or hesitated or omitted a word or inserted a word or reversed two words around any errors that they made in the reading uh, fluency are marked on the screen in red and they can move their mouse over it it'll pop a little tilt tip up and tell them what they did wrong and they can listen to the reading and they can see their score they can see their words correct per minute and the percentage words correct and so on it's a really good uh, fun thing for them to do and then they can also view a graph and uh, they can see their reading speed increasing over time. It's a very motivational thing. You know, if a, if a kid reads it and they see that they got 85 words per minute, pretty often they don't want to. They don't want to leave the computer. They want to try to get 90 words per minute, and it's just a really good. It's, it's the sort of thing that they don't. They don't get with a with a paper book. So those are the four things that kids can do, uh, and then for teachers, uh, we're trying to solve some problems for teachers as well. For kids, we're making it fun, interactive, and you know, appropriate for this uh, this decade. For teachers, we're trying to solve some problems as well. Whenever teachers are measuring oral reading fluency now, they typically have a, you know, a piece of paper and a stopwatch, and the kid gets another copy of the piece of paper with the words on it, and the teacher says go, and the kid starts reading, and it's a stressful thing for the kid, and it's a stressful thing for the teacher, because mm -hmm. <laughs> the teacher has to score this at the same speed that the kid's reading, and uh, then there's some mental arithmetic that no one likes, and then they've got to store a little reading record. So we're trying to solve some of these problems for a teacher. So the teacher gets a recording of the kid's voice and they get to see the reading passage on the screen and they just play the recording and whenever they hear an incorrect word, they just click on the word, the audio track stops 
and they tag that word as a mispronunciation or an omission or whatever. And then once they've tagged it, the reading carries on. Uh, if you didn't hear something or you want to hear it again to make a judgment on whether it was, say, a mispronunciation or a, or a substitution, you can just rewind the audio a few seconds and listen to it over again. That's something you can't do in a, obviously in a live environment. And uh, once you've finished it, uh, once you've kind of finished going through it and scoring it, uh, that gets you to a, a words correct per minute uh, speed. And then we ask a teacher to four more questions about the uh, about the expression and pace uh, of the reading. So we go through a simple rubric to try to get a you know a consistent score for the the expression as well as the speed. And uh, then the teacher just saves that, and it becomes part of their permanent running record. It means that school term time, whenever uh, there's a parent-teacher meeting, instead of a teacher saying, "Yeah, your your kid is you know an average reader or an above-average reader or, or a below-average reader," the teacher can say, "Listen to how your kid was reading in September, and listen to how they're reading now." And the teachers got some other some kind of interesting reports. They can print off a, a vocabulary list of words that they've miscued or mispronounced over the past month send them home with homework for the kid to practice and then uh, you know review them the next day so lots and lots of good things if people want to play with it uh, there's a piece of our website where you can actually uh, you don't even have to log in there's just a link there and you can go and pretend to be a kid and practice reading and listen to yourself reading you can also pretend to be a teacher and score a reading passage which uh, if you log in from Europe my daughter read it and you can hear an Irish accent reading some stuff out loud. If you log in from the US or Canada, uh, one of our sales guys has got a, a son who's at uh, the right age for this product, and so his son has read some stuff, and you can score his reading, <laughs> and uh, you can have a play with it. So the, the URL is www.texthelp.com forward slash fluency tutor, and, uh, or you can get a link to it from the, our homepage, which is www.texthelp.com. And uh, hopefully you enjoy it, and uh, it's, uh, it's successful for you. Thank you. Thank you.